just me. Yeah. Cool. You know, um, Stephen Crane was only 24 years old when he wrote that. What's that? Hmm? Uh, you're reading a classic. Yeah, I teach high school. Huh. I like to refresh my memory every year. I don't want to forget anything. No doubt. The human brain forgets so much. And it, I prefer digital storage. Are you a computer guy? Yeah. I'm a programmer. You know, I work at a tech startup in Alameda, cloud computing. Nothing to do with you know, trains per se, but this is exciting. It's historic. <laughs> cool, man. You know, I just had to be one of the first people on board. The first 140. I reserved my seat as soon as it went on sale. I mean, high speed rail is is the future. I mean, aren't you excited? I mean, this. <clears throat> I'm going to be able to tell my students that I was on the first bullet train in America. Mm. And going forward, it's going to be nice to hop on a train and read a book for a couple of hours and get off in San Francisco. <laughs> I wish I could read books for a living. There's a little more to the job than that. Oh, uh, no offense. I, you know, I just thought you was a you know, firefighter or something. Personal trainer, maybe? I just like to work out. It clears my mind. From the fog of green papers? Not exactly. Hmm. I'm just trying to stay healthy. That's what's up. Cool, man. I, I won't bother you anymore. <laughs> Man. Frank. Or maybe you might know me better as Vigo. What? It's him. Screw you, man. Oh, yeah? What's your problem, hmm? Why are you doing this? You think this idiot's gonna save you? It's overheating. Shut up. It wasn't designed to go full throttle for this long. Why don't you tell him why you was discharged? Hmm? Why you still teach high school? There you know, I was honorably discharged. I suffer from PTSD. Mm -hmm. And how many American soldiers you killed? I didn't kill <clears throat> and a traitor. Put the knife down. <laughs> the army couldn't get rid of you fast enough. Not true. Tell him! I couldn't close my eyes without seeing the images of those fallen soldiers. Those fallen soldiers that you killed! Why are you doing this? I want everyone you know to die. I want you to feel what I felt. That you were a disgrace to your country. Don't you? I... Ooh. <laughs> Struck a nerve, huh? I don't know what you felt. You... But I carry each of those faces with me. You killed my entire unit! Does that have to do with the train? I just don't want to know. Why'd you do it? Hmm? Why? I feel the guilt. But it wasn't my fault. It was an airstrike. They had the wrong coordinates. I was on the ground. I had nothing to do with it. 
Liar! I tried to save them. Liar! A tank kills my friends. My brothers! It wasn't no airstrike. A tank! An M1 Abrams! Your tank! You don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Is the reconstructive surgery that good? That you don't recognize the lung survivor? Hmm. Look into my eyes. Listen to me. You're confused. Mm -hmm. I was only involved in the rescue. Liar! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you are running out of time. We're going to crash into the San Francisco station. Innocent people will die. If the train doesn't derail first. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tori B. Lawrence. I'm six foot even, and I reside in Burbank, California. I'm reading for Vigo and Frank, and I'm fully vaccinated, and I received my booster shot this past Wednesday. And I included a screenshot in my uh, slate.